This is my 1979 Catalina 38 foot sailboat. I live on this boat and many friends often ask me what it, that's like so I wanted to shoot some video on it. First thing you'll notice is I hang my bike on my bow. That just keeps it off the street and out of the way on the boat. Then I've got a dock box here that I use to store rigging, extra anchors, extra repair materials and things like that. Over the cockpit area I've got this nice sun cover which gives me some shade so I can enjoy the outdoors. I can have a meal out here or just sit and relax and enjoy this view of the marina that I share with my neighbors. Stepping down into the boat. First thing you see when you step down is a small kitchen area. I've got a two compartment sink a three burner propane stove with oven, my electric kettle, and I've got this double doored refrigerator. So I can fit quite a few things in there, but I actually keep very little in there just because I don't want to be reaching in and out all the time. Over here I've got a quarter berth that uh, you can't see too far because I use it for storage, but when it's empty it comfortably sleeps one. It's really empty. This is a small navigational desk. Uh, it's been fitted with a refrigerator. So here's an extra refrigerator for food and drinks and whatnot. So I just use it as an extra table. I've got some cabinets for junk drawers and things like that. I've got a shelf and a microwave. And this settee comfortably sleeps one when you take the back cushions off. Um, on the other side I've got my kitchen table along with some more shelves and cabinets. Uh, the kitchen table actually collapses down and becomes a full-size bed that comfortably sleeps too. Um, I've also got my laptop hooked up to the TV screen so that I can watch TV, uh, surf the web, um, stream movies and things like that. Here's my keyboard, my wireless keyboard for it. Uh, this is the closet area. I use the cabinets for linens and towels and dish rags and things like that. And then this is my actual closet. So I've got dress shirts and pants. The thing about these closets is they're really small, so clothes tend to get wrinkled anyways. So when I do laundry, um, I don't iron things. I iron things before I use them. So for example, today's Sunday. Uh, I'll go ahead and iron four or five shirts for the week and hang them in a place where they won't get wrinkled. Uh, this is the bathroom area. And I don't really use the bathroom. I don't use the toilet and I don't use the pull-out faucet for a shower. Um, I just store all my toiletries in here and I use the dock shower and the dock bathroom. So I, I keep the holding tanks on board pretty dry uh, just because it's less wear and tear on the boat that way. And finally, this is what's known as the V-Berth. Uh, this is my bedroom. This is, um, at the at the wide end, it's about the size of a king-size bed, and then it tapers off. Um, that's why it's called a V-berth. But it'll comfortably sleep two, but it sleeps one even more comfortably. Uh, and then I've got plenty of different cabinets for my t-shirts and socks and underwear and things like that. So, the last thing I'll show you is the electrical panel. So I've got a lot of DC circuitry on here, but more notably I've got two 15 amp AC circuits and that powers things like the TV, the microwave, the area heater, and the hot electric kettle in the back. Uh, the one thing about 30 amps is I can only run one major item at a time. So between the electric kettle, the area heater, and the microwave, I have to remember to just use one at a time. If I use two, uh, I'll trip a circuit. That it's not a big deal. I'll just turn it back on. But uh, nevertheless, it's 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 one thing to be mindful of. Uh, three cons about living on a boat. Um, one, the electricity I just went over. Two, because I don't have a proper freezer, I can't keep meat and chicken, and that makes it hard to keep a lot of protein in my diet. And then. Um, 
the last one is just not having an actual bathroom on board that I use myself. But those are, I would say, three of the cons. Three of the pros. Um, it really forces you to minimize what you need to live. Uh, I don't buy a lot of needless electronics. I don't buy... Uh, magnets from vacations or different tchotchkes to keep around the house. I really try to keep it light and keep it simple. Um, it is a pretty cheap cost of living because I don't have to pay for electricity or water on this slip. That's all included with my monthly rent. But uh, at any rate, I've been, I was intending to live this way for two months and it's been almost a year. And, uh, you know, if you're willing to compromise a little bit, it's not the worst thing in the world because you wake up to a view like this every morning. So that's all for now. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.